Hello everybody, uh, I thought I would just do a completely live video today uh, instead of doing a recorded one uh, because I've got something on my desk that I'm very very excited about and I thought I'd just do a live unboxing video, it's not the sort of thing I normally do but uh, I figured what the hell, uh, I'm just going to switch to it now my desk here, hopefully this will work, there we go, so it is the Rode Streamer X. Now this is essentially it's a 4k capture card and it is a Rodecaster Pro 2 Duo, take it what you want from that, in one. Um, so it's a kind of streamed down version of the Rodecaster Pro 2. And uh, because it's only got the one XLR input and you've only got a couple of the little buttons in comparison. But it, but it also has got, well, a capture card, a 4K capture card at that. So I believe it does captures 4K at 30 frames per second, but it allows pass through of 4K at 60 frames per second. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is, right? Okay, on the front of the box, uh, we've got a big sticker basically that says Virtual Mixing Software Unifier, Unify, uh, which is a free download. That is basically the kind of bells and whistles that you get from the Roadcaster Pro 2 Duo, uh, except you get it as a software with this and you can interact with that. Right, so on the side, don't really have much. On the back, uh, what have we got? We've got a massive big QR code now. I have actually scanned that in the past. And it goes to, uh, basically the road website, gives you a lot of information about it, which is actually quite handy, to be honest, um, if you wanna set it up or whatever. Uh, also, what we've got here is we've got, uh, you've got the Streamer X, You've got the USB-C cable, 1.5 meters. Now, apparently that's a very important because that is, you have to use that USB-C cable. I've been told that before. You get a power supply and you get the Unify download. Now, the, the Streamer X is a professional audio interface and video capture card integrated in one compact and intuitive device. Connect and control a microphone or headset and monitor your audio with headphones. Connect XLR microphones and line level sources uh, so basically you can use a, a headset via the studio grade, don't know how to pronounce that, Nutric combo input or a headset via the TRS headset jack. Connect an HDMI video source such as a camera, gaming PC or gaming console for seamless audio and video connectivity with a streaming computer up to 4K 30 frames per second or uh, 1440p at 60 hertz. Monitor video in real time with zero latency, HDMI, HDMI pass through, connect two computers so you can connect, you can have a streaming PC and, uh, a, stream, and a gaming PC. Simultaneously unlock powerful audio routing, processing, mixing and capabilities with the included Unify software. Okay, there you go, that's quite a long winded uh, introduction there and very much the same here. So uh, anyway, enough chatting about it I'm just gonna um, yeah I'm just gonna open it up anything else on it what else does it say actually professional audio interface 4k capture and pass through variable video refresh rate support um, yeah pretty much everything else that I've said uh, integrated road series 4 wireless receiver and four smart pads for triggering sound effects uh, voice effects and more. Okay, right. So let's uh, open it up here. Lovely. Okay. Right. So it says here, take your stream to the next level. Step one, connect StreamerX to your PC. Well, I've got a Mac, so I hope that's okay. Uh, step two, plug in your microphone or headset. Step three, download Unified rodex.com slash unify and then step forward get connected join the rodex community rodex.com right get that in the middle there uh we've also got another qr code i love their qr codes you're probably not going to read this but you've made it this far join in okay well i'm not going to do it right now <laughs> Right, so here is this, oh, that's the power supply. That's nice. It's not a huge, big 
power brick. Normally you get a massive big power brick. Now that's nice, that's a nice little touch. I like that, thank God. Because I was worried about another huge big, uh, uh, you know, power brick. Right, I think we're gonna have to open up this first. This is the main unit. Wow, cool. And if we get little tabs, this just comes out. I like this, the boxing experience so far. It's not too bad actually. It's quite light. It's really short on camera, that would usually help. So there it is there. The buttons don't actually press down. They're just spongy. They don't actually, there's no, nothing tactile about it. I wonder if that will change once it's turned on. Uh, I believe that's to turn on and off the video feed. That's to mute or unmute your audio. And these do several things. They're, they are kind of incrementally turned around, so they've got little notches, which is nice. That's nice as well. It's a 3 8 adapter. I think it's a 3 8 um, which basically means you can put it on a stand or you can put it on basically anything that's got that kind of adapter. Okay, on the back, that's presume that's where you power it. That's, that's when you've got your two uh, USB-C jacks to go to your two PCs if you need them. You've got an in and an out, and an in and a through, which is good, not in and out, in and through uh, HDMI cables. That's where you can plug in your headset, that's where you can monitor your mod audio, and this is where you've got a dual um, jack, so it's H XLR or the other one, quarter, quarter inch. And then you've got a phantom volts as well. Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, we've got this all important cable. This is very, very important and can't be rectified. I'm assuming it's the sort of same cable that you'd get. Obviously, there's, there's several different types of USB C cables. This is the kind of type that you would maybe get on a switch, a powered switch, where, uh, in other words, it can transfer and receive and also at a certain power level. And that's why. A regular charging cable would not work, so I've got to keep this one safe. And in here, we've got our plug, which is good because uh, that's the only bit that's, that's, uh, that was missing. So I can put this all away now. I like that unboxing though. It was a nice unboxing experience there. Um, there we go. So that's pretty much um, what you get in the box. Not very much documentation at all. Um, but the, yeah, it's about the same size as, I don't know if you've got a trackpad. It's um, slightly smaller than a trackpad. Yeah, that'll look really nice. I'll just click. That's the kind of size that I was wanting. I was wanting to buy a new audio interface and I was hoping I was gonna get this one. Um, it's similar size to the one that I'm using at the moment, the Fine Fine. In fact, exactly the same size pretty much. So that's good. But all the connections are in the back. That's one thing I always wanted with my new audio interface. I wanted all the connections in the back. I hated one thing I mentioned in my review of this, the Fine Fine Ampli Tank is SC1, is that everything's at the front, which I know for musicians is important, but I just feel as if you've got stuff going in the front, stuff going in the back. Now, just get them all in the one place, either the front or the back, pick one. Uh, so there we go. Right, there we go. That's all I'm going to do. That's all she wrote uh, for this. I, I might do another video on, you know, once I've used it a little while uh, and get to grips with it, but I'm going to have a bit of fun with it. Thanks for watching.